Welcome to Reef Diary, day 96. The only thing I did today was clean the glass and enjoy the reef. Each day I do a diary entry about what I did for the aquarium that day, and this is the 96th one in a row. This is a follow-up from yesterday's Reef Diary when I planted all those corals. I wanted to show you what things look like the next day, now that the water has cleared up some. It's actually not pristine like I want it to be. I'm not really sure if some anemones maybe had spawned, if it's still the residual from the putty, but I just wish the water was more crystal clear, like any other hobbyist, right? So down here, you can see the dendros are back in place where they belong. And there's the rearranged Duncan, uh, I'm sorry, the rearranged acans. The big fluffy one back there, I need to move it further back or move these two closer to the glass to, because that thing gets really, really big. And right now it's shrunk down about half of its normal size. What else did I plant? Oh, I planted this thing here last night. See, that is such a nice compliment. So it's green with blue polyps next to the bright orange zoas. It's underneath the hammers. It's over these two beautiful chal well, the chalice here and the acan here. I planted a little piece of a purple grape monte that has just been struggling since it was shipped here and it keeps blowing around. So I stuck it right there on top of those button polyps. Uh, they are not critical, and if this thing shades them, that is fine. I'm hoping it will survive. Above it, I planted a second one of the um, rainbow... Uh, what am I thinking of? Stylophora. And behind it is a anacropora that have been blowing around on the sand bed in the back of the tank. Then I planted a Walt Disney right there, and this was that acro that was in the back of the reef. I put it there yesterday. And the blue tort is standing there proudly, looking good. In the back there, just under that, well, there was an anthias <laughs> under the copper band, is a Pacillopora with a couple of white branches. I planted that last night. And as you're looking at the aquascape, see it's got more sticks on it now. It looks better because things are taller. I also had glued this one in place last night. It's a Montipora. And then above it is that uh, yellow scroll coral, Turbinaria. And I planted that. Actually, I told you the wrong thing. This is the Walt Disney. I planted the Walt Disney there. This is the home wrecker. I think this is the green hairy acro. And then I have the second green hairy acro right there. So, because I had two pieces. And in the back, you can see the orange acro. It had a nickname that I can't remember. <laughs> and then there's a branching sunset montipora or sunset montipora going over a branch. And I used some putty to secure that in place as well. And then here is the remainder of the old yellow scroll coral that is shoved in that spot. I know it looks like nothing. Well, it's alive, so I'm going to leave it there and let it turn into something. And then the other piece of it is right, th no, right there. And then there's a little tiny green thing. That is a little piece of Pacillopora that was over here and fell off. So I glued it right there. <laughs> Look at all the new branches coming out of the shadow caster. It is ready to grow. Uh, other than that, I don't think there's anything else I can show you. I Yesterday I planted a total of 15 different frags permanently on the rock work, and they all stayed in place. I'm very happy about that. Uh, down here on the sand, right there, Spock, all right, right there, that fuzzy looking thing. That's another piece of green slimer. I need to grab that and plant it up there next to this one because it would look really good there <laughs> and make more sense and it doesn't belong down on the sand so this is basically the update like i said the tank's looking really really good and with the corals up where they belong it already has more i don't know variety to it a, a better profile across the rock work The sea bay continues to encroach on these poor little Duncans. I'll show you from the other side in a moment. I just kind of wanted to show you the profile of all the acros. You kind of make it out. I mean, you know, 
in six months, it should look amazing, right? All right, let's look at the reef from the back side. I still have all my little fraglets that need to be placed somewhere in the reef. Come on, focus. There we go. And I want this tray out of my tank. Uh, back here, I've got a mm, Space Invader Pectina. Pectinia. I need to move that to a better spot. But for now, it's in a safe spot. It's not on the sand. And then here you can kind of see the corals that I placed last night. Boy, it really doesn't want to focus much today, does it? Oh, and here's another acro that I planted right there. <laughs> My finger makes it look really small. <laughs> That's actually like a four inch colony right there. That's funny. And there you can see the Pacillopora in place up on the rockwork. And there's essentially nothing on the sand other than a couple of bird's nests and this one piece of bright pink chalice. I don't know where to put that, but it's in a good spot and it's growing. You can see the leading edge over there, so it's growing perfectly fine. But yeah, everything's looking good. Look, this thing completely healed. And this one down here looks really good too. Even though it was up there, it fell when I was working on cleaning this wall. But look at how much of the sea bay is now in this spot. It's completely taken over the back. This has never looked like this. And you can see how much it's stretched out. And when I had the pumps off yesterday to plant the corals, this thing was just humongous and just lying there like a ginormous sticky blanket. I don't know. I might have to move these Duncans. I'd rather not. And this coral here has almost completely healed. You can see in the back, there's one little white spot back there, but it actually looks really, really good. In person, it's green with orange mouths. I don't know if you can make that out in this situation. And there's a whole bunch of fungia babies, and here's more fungia corals down on the sand. And here is the one Monty that did not care about the potassium crash. These little frags are actually looking pretty yummy right now. And I'm not even wearing those orange glasses. All these need to go into some really great spots. That's all I gotta say. I got my replacement MP60 wet side today. Let's take a look in the box. Opening with one hand again. Let's move this razor blade away from the giant magnet. All right, I'm just going to dump it on the table. Hmm. This one has less resistance. That's good. I think this one will work out really well. All right. So I'll install that on the tank probably tomorrow. I'll put it together later when I'm off camera.